exactly the same ground where just uh, about two three days ago uh, over the weekend RCB and Rajasthan Royals played and once again the visiting team on that occasion it was the not the Virat Kohli led but the Virat Kohli dominant RCB hmm. it's led by of course Faf Plessis got about how much 180 183 184 yeah. something like that so i roughly around 12 runs plus is what rajasthan royals have ensured that uh, you know uh, they get this time they are batting first so they had a bit of an idea in that previous game uh, of course you know you'd say that the strip may have been different the condition may have been different but it's the same ground so the last match that we will have a reference as will be the RCB game. On that occasion, as you know, that 180 odd proved to be a below par total and Rajasthan Royals chased it down. Today, you are 12 runs to the plus, yeah. if I'm not 13 mistaken. runs to the plus. 13 runs to the plus. Uh, and so the obvious question is, have Rajasthan got enough? Looking at their bowling lineup, because we all, we all thought why that was 15 runs under par because of RCBs. Opalan Hare bowling. Hmm. But in Rajasthan Royals case, their bowling lineup is far more settled. Especially the spin bowling department. Especially when you look at the pace spacers that are there. Avesh. I mean, if the pacers and spinners are better than the... I mean, what other kind of bowler do you have? RCB have none. I know, that's my point exactly. <laughs> Mayang, you are looking at Mayang Dagar. No, I'm looking at no one. I'm just uh, uh, expressing amusement to the fact that you first said, no, the spin bowling is sorted, the pace is also sorted. So, then everything for them is sorted as opposed no, to RCB. No, he's I, talking about... You're talking about the RCB bowling. RCB bowling. In comparison bowling, with them. RCB, there's no comparison. RCB do not have a bowling unit. Although today they could be hamstrung by Burger's absence. So you're saying, mm -hmm. I mean, because it, on that day, if RCB, that same batting, had got whatever, 183, and Virat batted the way he did and all of that, same thing, everything is the same. And RCB had the Rajasthan bowlers, which are going to be in there now. Mm. Mm. RCB would have won that game? I don't know if they would have won, but they would have at least made it a lot closer. Yeah. I know people will say that, oh, it went to the 20th over. Okay. But again, you conveniently forget the fact that you needed a one run to win in the, final in the 20th over, yeah. over. And secondly, RR, the batter slowed down because they wanted just to get to his 100. He didn't want to. But even Shimra Netmaya was looking to take singles and get him on strike. So he could go and get that one big shot. So two things, one you've got 13 runs more than what RCB got which in itself is above par then. If that was a par total, you've got above par. Secondly, you don't have Opal and Hare bowling. Yes. You have uh, one of, if not the best, one of the best bowling attacks this IPL. Correct. So I guess Rajasthan sorted. None of you giving any chance to Gujarat type. So that's funny because in the pre-match both of us predicted a Gujarat win. Now yeah. I'm a little tempted to switch. Yes. Because again, I, I wasn't there. There was no way I was going to pick a Gujarat. No, I, I, why I said was because A, they had the advantage of winning the toss. It rained a little bit. You thought maybe if the pitch has anything, plus unknown conditions because of the rain, you can get some inroads. And to, to be fair, they did get their openers. The openers didn't really make much of an impact. Again, Jaiswal chose probably the worst day to not get runs considering that Gill is going to be batting second. And Josh Butler, well, reverted back to the Josh Butler of 2023 types rather than the 100 we saw. So yeah. he's struggling. But of course, their middle order, power pack middle order, Riyan Parag, Sanju Samson, then Hetmeyer comes, wax a few. And now I think they have an above par total. Uh, I mean, but I would have anyway picked Rajasthan because I have them in my top four. I don't have GT. So obviously, yeah. I would have gone. I wouldn't do what Siddharth does, has some other team in the top four. But when it comes to the match day, you will pick some other one to win. I would have been consistent. No, mm. if I didn't pick GT in my top four, I picked Rajasthan. In between the two, I would have gone, unless there would have been like a few big omissions in terms of injuries mm. or something yeah. like that. That wasn't the case. I would have gone, uh, Rajasthan. Anyway, yeah. yes, Siddharth. I mean, looking at it, maybe today Rajasthan Royals might have to be very smart with their impacts. Sir, because, see, you don't have an Andre Burger. You have a Bolt, you have an Avesh, you have Chehel and Ashwin. And Chehel and Ashwin do the best holding up job in the middle overs. That's why the pressure on them will increase. And since Gujarat still don't have a David Miller, that might really, really hurt them. Mm -hmm. Because the rest of the batting order, you saw it even in the game versus LSG. It didn't inspire me confidence at all. And they can get tied down by spin also. Look at who tied them down. In that. But that pitch was okay, very sluggish. Here, you got Ashwin and even on a flat deck, he did concede only 7 runs and over. 
although he didn't take wickets. Chehel, he is the master in these kind of situations. But, but see, I mean, I know they've got Kuldeep Sen today, not the same as Nandre Berger, mm -hmm. uh, all right. But who would then be their impact sub today? I have, a, the I have a feeling it's Keshav Maharaj. See, it's either Keshav or Navdeep. They already have two spinners, so you may be tempted to go Navdeep, yeah. but they've only played three foreign players. So the option for a Keshav yeah. is always open. I thought they, there's a chance they'd get Robman if they collapse, but then that's not happened. Yeah, because you've already got a Kuldeep, you've already got a Bolt, you've already got an Avesh. Why would you need a fourth pacer? You could go with four pacers, because in terms of spinning department, you already have a UZ and an Ashwin. Who guarantee you four overs. Eight overs actually. total. Like yeah. if it was a pitch that would have helped some sort of spinners, then uh, if I was GT, I would have given an over or two to Tevate. They haven't been, mm -hmm. but I may have been tempted to do that to ensure that I don't have to bowl Umesh at the death. So, could have given him earlier and then ensure that, you know, Mohit only bowls at the death, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, today, I, I'm telling you, now, going of Hardik Pandya has totally scrambled the GT thinking. In no way in his captaincy tenure, but he had the bowlers at his disposal then. No, Shuman he himself doesn't have... was there. Exactly. Yeah. That you're forgetting. He himself being... And one more guy, Mohamed Shami. Yes, of course, completely. And he himself being there, you know. Mm. So, he got that flexibility on a given day. He would bowl with a new ball, so which would allow, you wouldn't have to spend a Spencer Johnson or for that matter, even a Mohit little earlier. You could have saved them completely for the death. Yeah. But now with no Hardik, you have to get some overs with the new ball with these fast See, ones. even previously, GT were not a team that were all-rounder heavy. Mm. They would have two and the second I'm counting would have been Rashid. Yes. But Rashid guarantees you four overs. Pandya gave you two, sometimes three on a good day. But him being that 6th bowling option really helped them. Yeah. Today you see, they only had a wish to bowl the 20th over. That's how poorly marshaled the bowling resources were. That if you really wanted to, I mean, Noor today was, I'm sorry, doing nothing. Mohit, not much better. That's the problem. You could have gotten in a fact, couple of overs out of... But I'm saying, in fact, you take those uh, 4 overs of Rashid. If it had been anyone other than a Rashid Khan today, you're looking at a 220. So exactly, yes. exactly. And they, they just did not use their resources very well. Because again, in the middle overs, the best time you can spread the field. What's the harm in giving a Tavati an over? Or trying a, I don't know, Vijay Shankar. Give it a whirl. They were not doing much worse than your other bowlers. That's the thing. You could have done that, maybe taken an over of Umesh, who's always been suspect in the death. He's never been a death bowler. He's always at his best up front. That's where his best role is. I just don't understand what the thinking was. And again, I will call into question, you know, Gil and his captaincy of learning on the job. Yeah. Basics he's getting wrong. I mean, uh, the last time we were, I mean, we were ch checking now the headline. Oh, I think what do, what do if we go past 200 or everything? We were, they were 177 when the last over was in bold. Umesh conceded 19. I think GT will continue to suffer yep. till they play my favourite. Sai Kishore. Sai Kishore, yes. Will they play him? They are going to keep suffering. Of course. <laughs> I mean, he is a decent bat, but I think as a bowler, he is one of the better ones that you have. He is unfortunately got the worst franchisees that is there at his disposal. He wasted a couple of years with CSK. You know, they played him and he did rather well and yeah, they haven't played him, him again. I, know, I don't know what's happening. No, I, I, I agree in terms of balance or whatever, but I, I bring him in. I mean, I would say if you want the batting and the bowling thing, get in Sai Kishore and drop a Noor. Because yeah. Noor has not done well for 2-3 games. And mm. get uh, get in a overseas batter to fit in. Yeah. You have uh, dropped uh, Azmatullah. Azmatullah. You can bring him back in. Yeah. That, he would have given you some fast bowling also. He would have given you a 6 bowling option. Which they didn't have today. Exactly. Their overseas batting is a bit of a problem. Play Sai Kishore as your spinner alongside, of course, Rashid Khan. Yes. Bring in Azmatullah, then he'll, he'll get some longer batting. He'll give you some new ball, mm. for swinging it around. Couple of overseas. Some wickets. Yeah. yeah, and then you can save your Spencer Johnson and Mohit towards the death. Yes. Spencer, in fact, bowled brilliantly in the 18th over, if you yeah. look at it. Spencer yeah. was expensive early on. He wasn't that expensive later on in the innings. So, I, I don't know. Again, they made this change, I think, because they wanted to accommodate Noor. But that decision so far is proving a bit of a bust because he's not been very effective. I think the novelty of the first season kind of gone. And now teams are starting to figure out how he works. And also, I think Mohit is overdoing his variations. 
Ah, uh, today not a great day for him. The two games on the trot now, he's had the same problem of consistently going back to the slower ones. That's why I say, because that is high trending, no more hit for T20 World Cup. As it happens, three games, four games, <sighs> and it starts, which is why I tell people. Same with Mayank Yadav. Trust the process. Yeah. Mayank Yadav though is out now. Yeah. Mm, one week. One week he's out, right? yes. Well, that is, at the moment, one week. But it can extend. A side strain can go to weeks. Correct. That's one. So, Who yeah. knows what happens. But in the race for the T20 World Cup, as you said, one guy has definitely stamped his class today. And that I'll, is I'll, I'll hold my judgment. Absent. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was going to hold my judgment on the openers. No. The openers let Shubman Gill bat yeah, and yeah, then yeah, let's yeah, see. Yeah, but no, Sanju but, Samson. But even then, in, in the openers, and I think we'll have a longer discussion post-match show. But even for openers, it's simple. Why do you have to even have that headache now? You're going to take both anyway. Yes. Correct. In your squad, yeah. you will have a backup opener anyway. Why worry yourself as to who's going to start? That mm-hmm. decision is for much later. Right yep. now, you'll have to make a decision as to who the openers are, and it's simple. It's simple. These are the two. The, the teams that are playing today, it's Yashasvi and Sun, Shubman who are making it. But who starts, that's a different thing altogether. But wait for it. Now, yeah. April you, end. You mm-hmm. cross the bridge when you get to it. Who knows what injury comes, what <laughs> happens, yes. you know, who goes, what yeah. form comes later, who plays, ends up playing the playoffs, who does not, all of those yeah. things come into play. So, forget, don't even take that yeah. stress. Right I am talking about the wicket the, keeper slot. No, but I am saying in the mm. opener, just look at the two that you have to. Yep. Again, don't get swayed by what's just happening in the IPL. Yeah. You go with the Trident Tassel and they'll go. Uh, wicket keeper, I think, uh, you know, there were two on display today in Samsung and Jurel. Jurel, but only he is. Uh, but Jurel, I think, is anyway, he was an further anyways. back in the race. Yeah. And I don't think whatever. I mean, it's not that he's not at a great time, but he's hardly got any batting chances to yeah. really show his. Uh, and hasn't got any keeping chances. It's, either. it's boiled down to just three Jitesh, Sanju, and Rishabh. Correct. Correct. And, I, and as things stand at the moment, Sanju Samsung's doing no harm to his chances. Absolutely. No harm. He's been very, very good. Absolutely. Uh, the only debate that will happen was going to be his batting position. Hmm. If you know you're going to compare a few players, but that's that's a debate we'll have. Yeah, that is a debate. But then yes, three fifties now for Sanju and Riyan Parag. Barring that one failure against uh, RCB, he's done well in each and every game that's there. You're praising Riyan Parag's. Uh, Knock today. Mm. I am too. I'm very happy. But none of you are going to say anything about strike rate. He's got 150 strike rate similar to what uh, Virat Kohli got. We were uh, all going yeah. after Virat Kohli. But look at day. the position. Yeah. Look at the position. He's number four. Virat is an opener. What do you runs at the end? Runs are runs are runs. No. In fact, I, in fact, I would strike argue. Strike rate is strike rate is strike I rate. Would, I would <laughs> argue that usually the ones who come much lower down the order hmm. uh, have to have an even better strike. Yeah, but Kohli. So why can't we compare so Virat with Sanju? No, and also Kohli in the last, uh, uh, in the death, last game around, got 13 runs or 10 balls. Yeah. That's a significant drop-off. Look, see, there are both sides to the story. We've done a video on that today, on Sports Today. Yes. Mm. <laughs> you can check that out. Oh. Virat Kohli. Detailed video. As to why <coughs> it's harsh also to go after his strike rate. How there are also reasons to go after the strike rate. See, we give both sides. Yeah, they're balanced. Yeah, I mean, I'm speaking for myself. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I had to give that disclaimer, yes. Mm. <laughs> Luckily, he gave, came up with it. But then see, Sanju 178, Riyan 158. See, for the situation that they were in, I think the acceleration towards the middle overs was fantastic. Where was the acceleration? Virat did it in the power play. But towards the end, where was the acceleration? Actually, you know, last game, his power play runs were a little dried up. Mm. He, he battled a striker at 128. His best acceleration actually came through the middle overs. Middle overs. Which is, uh, which is in a sense very interesting because both, I think it was only in the KKR game where he really slowed down in the middle overs. Yeah. And at the other game, of course, Punjab Kings, but that was a chase and they were chasing like 180. As I've said, matters. chasing is not an issue for Virat. There he is the goat. He can go in whatever strike rate he wants. Setting the tempo when it comes to batting first. first yeah. That's a big issue. And if people don't want to look beyond that, I really don't know. So Kesha it is. Maharaj ki jai ho. He's finally playing for Rajasthan Royals. Let's take a few quick questions before. Oh, yes, yeah, has been subbed out. Uh, his, his confidence yeah. is a little. I know, I know. Poor guy. Okay, Shubham Garg. 
Jess needs to learn he will not get rope like Rohit, where he gets open and captain after failing six T20 World Cups and eight years of IPL. Butler against oh, that's, good bowlers. That's going after Rohit Sharma. Come that's on. really going after Rohit Sharma. Bob. But also, you know, the thing is, but I he would, makes a valid point in the first place. Yeah, but I would also not want Jaiswal to change his way of playing. Absolutely. Because if, not. if he becomes a run accumulator and he's playing for averages, then what's the difference between him and really any other batter? Then you may as well open with Virat. What's yeah, the point? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. No, but he. I think what he makes, which is a valid point, that I think he also needs to realize that while. You know, everyone's backing him, mm. us included, everyone else, and I'm sure the selectors will too. But he also, at some point, needs to Get show runs. those shades of brilliance that he has. No one doubts that. Yep. Dhanush, Virat Rohit should open in T20 World Cup. Rinku is a must in 11. Look, that's one way, easy, sure shot way to include them. But then that's very harsh on both Gil and or Jaiswal. You know, as I said, Jaiswal may still be slightly easier option to drop yeah. and as go with this. To. But if a Gil is firing, uh, and he has been firing, yeah. it may not be such an easy option. Correct. So, Sai Sudarshan opening with Shuman Gill. Oh, very interesting. Yep. Ah, but I think uh, last game too that happened. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We, there was a debate because now they had brought him Wade, right? Wade tends to be an opener at times, but I think they put him in the Miller role. Come last side. game also they opened. Yeah. They went with the Indian wicketkeeper. B.R. Sharath. Yes. B.R. Sharath. And yes. he batted in the lower middle order. Yeah. But they opened with this. Yeah. Yep. Vishal Panchal. It was a combination of Nehra and Hardik which made sure GT was doing well. Also, hope this is the year Sanju gets his due and gets selected for a T20 World Cup. Vishal wholeheartedly agree. He's we hope so. Because again, what is the one thing we would always say? We would uh, say that he'd start well, taper off. And then even though his season numbers look good, you know there was a significant drop off. So far, that's not happened. It's threatened to happen. But last two games, he's gotten very good runs. So, full credit there. Yep. We hope that in a T20 World Cup year, he does play the T20 World Cup. Not ODIs. <laughs> Please. Sartak Arya, four seasons, winter, summer, justice for Sanju campaign <laughs> after his IPL knocks. Sanju failing to deliver after justice being served to him. Hashtag yeah. like See, I would, I'll disagree with the last one because he rarely if ever gets justice, the poor guy. He'll always be shunted around in formats. Injustice this, to Sanju has been done, indeed. But I think it's in good humor. Nice comment. Ah, he's he's, yeah. Yeah, he's mentioned very clearly that he's light hearted and point yeah. well taken. Okay. Yeah. GGK forever a Sanju fan and yes, wicket keeper debate over. Sanju should be primary keeper for us. Make him bat at three and make Virat open. But what wrong did Shuman Gill do then? Actually, but if you're batting a Sanju at three, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a good option. Rohit, Virat, Sanju, Sky, Hardik. And then you leave a six for Rinku. Ooh, that is actually yeah, that power. Looks like good. That looks like You know, it's rare I find myself agreeing with a GGK compromised team which somehow includes Sanju and Rohit and everyone. This time I do. I yeah. actually like the sound of that team. I do. Sridhar okay. Saivarkar. I don't understand how you guys pick GT for top four. Maybe not you. I think it was. Oh, no, no, uh, I, I did pick GT. Uh, no, but but uh, uh, Sports Today's top four did not include GT. Yeah, we voted them out. Yeah. yeah. RR, in fact, was the uh, We did not team. have GT in the top yeah. mm -hmm. four. GT don't have batter except Gill and maybe. I remember, Baba, we've been saying that for two yeah. seasons and somehow they not only won the first year but then made the final for the second. So actually, the year I finally got tired of underestimating them is the year they're like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Final question, Ashish Dhar. KGF are like Deva Bhuvan and his smile lit laka. <laughs> Rest of teams is so Palanare to these three. <laughs> there's, been Perfect, Ashish. Ashish. There's, there's been a very naughty clip also doing the rounds of a certain commentator uh, in Hindi commentary. Uh, uh, so it was, I think, Akash Chopra and Ajay Jadeja. And uh, Akash Chopra says, to, K to badiya chal rahe. Lekin GF thodi taklif de. Yeah? So, GF ke bina kya maza life is what Ajay Jadeja replies. So, like, do teen to ho nahi chahiye. And I'm like, oh, oh, and people are going crazy after it. Yeah, it is. But yes, it's like Deva, Ismail and Bhuvan indeed. Ismail got injured, but who gets injured in RCB's next game, we don't know. Listen, they need to somehow find a way to bring Will Jacks into that lineup, okay? Yeah. How? That's the Drop Maxi. Priyanshu is also picking that same team as GGK did. Mm. Rohit Virat, Samson, Surya, Hardik, Rinko, top six. There's only one small problem with that. You are once again very one-dimensional with having too many right-handers at the top. That's one reason why I'm really favouring a Jaiswal. Yeah. You if you get a Jaiswal, then you've got a Rinku. And Jaddu. Left -hand and Jaddu. Three left-handers. It's a rarity. When does India ever get three left-handers? And trust me, a left-hander in… And see, even one more. 
if you get suppose barring a gill if you get rohit virat shubman uh, sky hardik the t20 world cup of 2022 barring a kl rahul that's the same batting lineup exactly okay last two comments asad is saying sanat jaisuria equals st subscribers i didn't get that yeah maybe because of the fast rate with which we are ah, growing maybe good one asad yes. took us time to decipher but thank you ah, so much very nice you have picked my ultimate goat here sanat jaisuria you shandre says gt winning okay on that note quick predictions anyone going listen i'm flipping saying rr make it 5 out of 5 i was going to pick rr anyway. i'm also flipping i also said gt winning but yes okay piyush we will see we will see yes okay see you end of the game bye bye take care bye bye avesh